Hi, the book I'm going to pitch today is Looking for Alaska by John Green. One of the first young adult books that I read and what got me really excited about reading young adult literature. So um, the main character, uh, he is regular kid. Uh, I believe he is like 16 or 17 years old. And he decide, his parents decide that he's going to go to a private school. It's where his dad went. Uh, they think it's going to be good for him. And they basically live on campus. And yeah, so he's getting ready to leave to that. The way that the book is organized is actually a countdown. So each chapter is not a chapter. It will just have a countdown. So this says 136 days before. And then as you kind of like look at the book, there is about a little more than probably 70% of the way, there is a dark gray line, and that is the after. So you're kind of getting the memories up until something happened. So he is going off to this campus, and he meets uh, this kid named Chip. He gets introduced to him. He's going to be his roomie. And so this is where they're first having their first interaction. And he says, don't call me Chip. Call me the Colonel. I stifled a laugh. The Colonel? Yeah, the Colonel. And we'll call you hmm, Pudge. Huh? Pudge, the Colonel said, because you're skinny. It's called Irony Pudge. Heard of it? Now let's go get some cigarettes and start this year off right. He walked out of the room again, just assuming I'd follow. This time I did. Mercifully, the sun was descending toward the horizon. We walked five doors down to room 48. A dry erase board was taped to the door using duct tape. A blue marker, it read, Alaska has a single. The colonel explained to me that one, this was Alaska's room, and that two, she had a single room because the girl who was supposed to be her roommate got kicked out at the end of last year, and that three, Alaska has cigarettes, although colonel neglected to ask whether four, I smoked, which five, I didn't. So he meets uh, Pud, or Pudge, meets the colonel, he meets Alaska, and he meets a variety of other really interesting characters that live in the dorms uh, is co-ed, so that brings some whole issues. But then there's this issue of the kids who live in the dorms and then the kids who are weekenders, meaning that they only come to campus and then they go home because they live in the nearby super rich area. So it's kind of like the rich kids versus the poor kids. Uh, there's some conflicts that go on between them. Um, and they pull pranks on each other. So Pudge is the unfortunate victim of one of the first pranks. And they just are constantly doing things to get back at each other. They're pretty funny. Um, and then their little act of rebellion is they go and hang out in this one little smoking area, kind of underneath a bridge. And that's where they get to kind of open up and be free and be themselves. Um, Pudge ends up falling for Alaska. He finds her very intriguing, very interesting. She's a free spirit. And... But she's not perfect. She has a sordid background. She has kind of um, not that great of a family. And she has some other addictions besides smoking that she is dealing with. Uh, this is funny. It's entertaining. It's heartbreaking. And I absolutely love it. Every student that I have recommended read this book has read it and absolutely loved it. Boys, girls, rich, poor, doesn't matter. You can find someone to relate to in here. And it's also one of those books where you can kind of experience a life lesson, hopefully, just through fiction and not actually something that you have to live through in real life. Um, again, strongly recommend it. It's called Looking for Alaska by John Green. You can tell that it won an award, so it's a pretty good book. And enjoy. Have a good day.